Walking her dog is the only time Nina LeChapelle leaves her home. She survived lung cancer and doesn't understand why people like her aren't being prioritized for a second dose. I don't want to be mean and, and say that, you know, younger people shouldn't be getting it. I don't, I, I believe everybody should be getting it. But if you're going to put somebody on hold, put the people that are healthier on hold. But she may be getting some good news soon. Tomorrow, Ontario will be updating its vaccine rollout. And like many other provinces, it's planning to shorten the duration between doses. In BC, officials announced most people should be able to get their second shot after eight weeks. Tens of thousands learned this afternoon that they're now eligible. Those at greatest risk will be at the top of the list for dose two. Welcome news for Robert O'Doherty, who got his first dose in March. I want it ASAP. Okay. I would like it now. I would like it yesterday. Millions of more doses of Pfizer and Moderna are being shipped into Canada, which is why the timeline is moving up. Some who got AstraZeneca for their first shot are also now getting their second one. In Ontario, the province is scrambling to use 45,000 doses of AstraZeneca set to expire in the next few days. We have seen approximately 7,000 second doses that have been given over the past three days. Quebec, too, is trying to use up its AstraZeneca supply. People can now get their second dose of that vaccine eight weeks after their first shot. For now, we have 150,000. For And this is the reason we go very quickly with the uh, no appointment uh, arrangement. The hope is that vaccine uptake continues to rise and many can get both doses in time for summer when provinces really start to lift most restrictions. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.